Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. Today we are going to discuss the idea of types of poverty. We have already done several videos on the different aspects of poverty, but today's video is a bit different from what we have already learned. So let's understand the different types of poverty from here onwards. Before starting to see the types of poverty, it's important to understand the idea of poverty. Every one of us knows what is poverty. It involves a state of condition where a person or a community would be lacking some financial resources to satisfy the basic standard of living. So the person or the community that we have in question won't be able to live as per his or her wish with respect to satisfaction attaining from the bare minimum standard of living. The income that a person earns would be very much low in order to satisfy the basic needs. And when we say basic needs, it would just cover the basic necessities like food, clothing and shelter. In the idea of World Bank or what is being defined by World Bank, poverty involves deprivation in well-being and it has got multiple dimensions. It has got social dimension, it has got economic dimension, it has got several several other dimensions as well. So all together if a person is trapped in the clutches of poverty that make his survival with dignity something impossible or you call it as difficult so having given you a very crisp and short explanation regarding poverty let me take you to the types of poverty i have already given in a separate video the difference between absolute and relative poverty if you have had any doubt in that particular concept you can refer to my video which the idea of uh, absolute and relative poverty is explained very clearly in that video so i'll be providing the link of that in the description box uh, for the very same reason, since I have already done a video on that, I am not doing uh, the difference between absolute and relative poverty right now. But I will be discussing some other types of poverty in today's session. So let's see the different types of poverty. Here we have something called generational poverty. And generational poverty would be carried forward by one generation to the next generation. So what happens, it, ha it, it will appear like a chain. From one generation, it is carried to next. It will carry to next generation. Again, it is taken to the next generation. So it goes like a chain. It is handed over to individuals or families from one generation to the next generation. And that's why we call it as something which is very much complicated. And it would act like a vicious chain. The chain would be toxic. And once a person is trapped in this type of poverty, it is very much difficult for not only that person, but also his successors to come out of that particular situation. And people are trapped in its cause and, uh, and they would be unable to access some tools to come out of such a situation. So this is very much complex and complicated. Generational poverty. Now, Having discussed so, let me take you to the next type of poverty which is very common in rural areas. We call it as rural poverty. Rural areas would be having some characteristic features which make it different from other areas. Especially you can see that agriculture. And agriculture is something which is very much seasonal. And 
in rural areas there would be less job opportunities outside the arena of agriculture again with respect to services when you compare urban and rural areas the access to service would be limited in rural areas support to disabilities would also be very less in a rural areas compared to urban areas also the quality of education that is available in rural areas would be very much limited when you compare the quality of education in urban and rural areas so what happens here people would be mostly trapped in farming activities and other kind of primary sector related activities where other work environment would be very much limited so there would be chances for seasonality of their jobs which will lead to unemployment situation in most part of the year that make people to have poverty having said so let me take you to the next which is urban poverty and this is considered to be one of the main basic challenge basic challenge that has been faced by urban people even though we do have adequate number of health and educational institutions in urban areas some people won't be able to access these some urban residents won't be able to access these health and educational facility especially this is being seen in slums these areas would showcase problems related to inadequate housing as well as related services also people who live in slums since they are not provided with the basic needs chances are very high for these people to turn violent it is not their fault actually i am not saying that people everybody who live in slums would be violent no but there are some people and this might create some unhealthy environment as a result of overcrowding why because there exists competition competitions for space and it is this competition that makes people violent and this is not only seen in slums but also this is applicable in every other area where competition happens so violence can happen in every other area where there is competition and there won't be enough social protection in such regions so that too will be complicating the matters so upon poverty is again a complicated thing to consider that's all for today i hope you understand the session i request you to like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos you can be a part of our telegram community by clicking on to the link given in the description box also you can download the learn economy app for that also you can click on to the link given in the description box that's it thank you for watching